Hey folks, Daily Lance Blog for the 22nd of November, 2021. Uh, this is kind of a, a perfect coincidence. So you've heard me talking over and over again about my friend on the East Coast who had been in a uh, psychiatric facility, uh, I think a hospital in general with, with a psych psychiatric floor, and she has um, finally seen some light. She has been released. She is at home. I don't know how um, this will play out, but right now she's doing well. She met up with a terrific psychiatrist who really gave her a shot at life. Now, uh, the facility is called Waterford Health Center uh, in St. John's, Newfoundland. And there's a woman, Christy, whom I have mentioned before, whom I've communicated with, who has been protesting out in front of Waterford every week for 50 weeks. And this week, she was there in a wedding dress because she got married and she made the point that the consistency of my message has to be there. I am not leaving. And the sign that she was holding, long-term mental health care needs to be more accessible. So the, the way I see this is if you can get in, there is a pretty good chance that the professionals in there will help you. Not necessarily guaranteed, but if you can get in is the key statement, if, if you can get in. I mean, I talked to somebody yesterday who was speaking about a relative who can't find help, has no idea how to get into the system, has no idea at this point what to do next, except to know that they are suffering from suicidal ideation. Make the system more accessible make the system available to everyone. And by the way, Christy, congratulations. Sicknowweek.com, 24 hours a day, 335 days a year. Why are we here, Case? Because muzzle tough, Christy. Muzzle tough.